This video will tend to explain strains, including normal and shear strains, Poisson's ratio, stress and strain relationships, but since it will be fairly lengthy, I will be dividing this video into a few other videos. To, be, to start off with, we have normal strains. Now recall from the videos before this that normal stresses tend to deform an object into an elongated shape or a squashed shape. As we can see, the blue is the original shape, putting a normal stress on it, in this case, has stretched it. And we can see the normal stresses are in black, they're in the opposite direction, okay? Now consider a, re a horizontal rectangle element being stretched by a force P. Okay, if we stretch this, we're going to have an additional length due to stretching, which is this. This little blue region, and we can call this delta L, okay? Now this is strain, and strain can be defined as the change in length, so the blue region shown, um, divided by the original length, and is de denoted as the thing, uh, it's denoted by the symbol epsilon. Okay, the equation of strain is delta L over its original length L. Now since we're dividing uh, a unit of length by another unit of length, um, the units are going to cancel each other out and therefore strain is a dimensionless uh, quantity. So just to going back and clarifying this, so now assume we had the black rectangle, okay? We put a tension force in the opposite direction on each side P and P and this blue region is b the length of which is stretched by and therefore strain is the change in length, so delta L divided by original length.